Hey guys, Moza with Necron Tech, and I finally bit the bullet and decided to get myself a little, uh, little bit of new hardware. You know, I got the portable PC, I got the Steam Deck, I saw it on sale, and I've always been very intrigued by it. Um, I'm not going to get too much into a review, I really just want to do a nice, uh, clean unboxing video. I kind of have this upside down, but pretty cool, that packaging right there, right? So why did I get a Steam Deck? Uh... You know, on my days off where I'm not working any overtime or I got some free time to myself, there's one consistent where, like, I kind of just get tired of sitting in my gaming setup, my computer and stuff like that. It gets a little bit old. There's some times that I just want to lay down and just relax and play games. And then, obviously, the portability and be able to, like, actually go on, you know, I don't want to say vacation, but let's just say just go travel, maybe be on a train or have something like some training or stuff like that. Or I have like an overnight shift and I have time to whip this out. You know, it's nice to just have the option. Right. And the fact that it was on sale, I got the cheapest version. Um, one, because, you know, I'm just going to get just get the SSD and install that. I'm going to do a video with that, too. But ooh, very, very nice. Look how clean that mirror is. You literally see me, the overhead shot. Wow. That is nice. Now this just has a dual AMD hardware. It's uh, based off the RDNA 2 architecture. Now a lot of more people go into in-depth about uh, the actual hardware and the performance, but it's pretty much a 1080p. You're gonna, you know, you're, that you're pretty much playing at. Um, all right, just charging. So we got to charge it before we actually start it up and stuff like that. But it's very nice, and I don't have two big hands, but so far so good. You know, something about the Steam Deck. It's just like. You know, and again, going back to the portability, sometimes you just want to watch TV, you know, you know, hang out with the family and just, you know, hang in the living room. And sometimes, you know, they're watching that, whatever the hell they're watching, you don't feel like watching it, but you could just whip out the Steam Deck. And the fact that you can do other things besides Steam, like BeatNet and, you know, treat the actual Steam Deck and uh, get a desktop mode, it's really nice to be able to do emulators and stuff like that too. So I'm assuming the charging is going to be in here. Let's see about that. Yeah, I think so. I did cheat this unboxing because I had to open it for a short that my uh, fiance is going to do. But yeah, USB-C, I'm, I'm assuming this is a fast charger. But this is a really nice, you know, obviously everything should be using USB-C. But uh, like my PC, my motherboard, uh, the 670E, the ROG Hero, it has a, a fast charging uh, uh, USB front port with the Land Cool 3. So you, using that, like I can just like <laughs> get, a, get a little like, nice dock and then uh, charge it at my PC station, but physically again, like this is, really is a beautiful product. Um, I'm gonna get more in depth with it, you know, um, not with the hardware side, but actual like my preferences performance, but a lot of games that I love, like uh, emulating tactics maybe on this, or like uh, what's the other uh, kind of tactics like game that came out recently, I think Triangle, Triangle, tri triangle Strategy, you know, play that, Divinity Original Sin 2, hopefully Baldur's Gate 3 runs really well on this, cause that's gonna be huge. The early release coming out i'm really looking forward to that but like even the final fantasy games you know i actually bought a ps5 recently just so i can play uh 16 because i had the itch and i got a little bit more uh money from the va recently but yeah top port for charging on top i guess the stereo volume hmm i guess that's a steam os button that's pretty cool okay but yeah i'm gonna do another video and do a little ssd installation Maybe I'll add that all in one video and like I'll give you my final thoughts and review and stuff like that. But I'm going to get this baby charged up and I'm going to get going with it, guys. Uh, yeah. And so far, accessory rise, obviously, you know, I got more capacity because I got the cheapest version of the Steam Deck. So I'm going to be installing this in a bit. And then I just got this off Amazon, this uh, JSOX uh, screen protector. I got this one because it's supposed to come with uh, like a little guide and we'll see how that works. Yeah, as you can see, I completely butchered uh, the screen, but uh, it is what it is. Once it's on and running, you can't really uh, see the little mark. So I do have an OCD, so it's going to bug the hell out of me. I'll probably order new ones, but uh, this JSOX only comes with two. And unfortunately, that yellow frame that I just threw out of a rage, it actually, uh, I don't know if I just messed up. I probably did, but I really tried to secure it the second time. And it didn't stick. And both times I used the frame as a reference, I overshot either the left or the right side. 
So then it was just brick. So I had to reuse it, and here we go. So that sucks, but hey, I'm just happy I have that protector. Again, when you're actually playing games and you have the OS up and stuff like that, you're not going to really see the bubbles. So you got eight screws on the, on the back of the Steam Deck. You're just going to get all those. So you're going to remove the eight screws, and then just remember that the four outside screws are going to be the long ones, and the inside ones are going to be the little uh, stubby short ones. And for the screwdriver, you're going to use this Phillips, but this is a PH0, just for a size reference if you guys are wondering. You don't need too small of a Phillips to get in there. So my fiance for last Christmas got me a lace little tool, and it has an actual splitter right here that works perfectly to get that side off. If you don't have something like that, again, try not to use metal. Try to use something more plastic, and you don't actually damage your hardware. You'll see I already got it a little bit, but that's pretty much it. Get it right out there. Now this silver plate right here, you're gonna take off two. There's gonna be four screws, one, two, three, and then four under this. Now from here, you're not gonna remove the battery, you're just gonna unplug it. So this little thing, again, if you have something plastic like this, a little wedge it out, but it is a little bit hard to get out, but you just gotta be very careful and just, you know, uh, just be slow with it. You don't gotta force it. You don't gotta do anything crazy with it. There's a little uh, wedge you'll see right here that I'm pushing up against. That makes it really, really easy to get it out there. And you know, just do it nice and slow. You see, we get it right out. No biggie. Now the battery is connected. You want to discharge any extra energy. Everybody always says this, same thing with computers, but honestly, uh, I normally don't do it. But hey, you know, it is the right thing to do. And there's our little SSD next up, right? It's under that little silver thing. So it's just like uh, SSDs on a motherboard, guys, right? Like you just unscrew it. A lot of the MOBAs have the easy tool now, but you know, this is no more classic. As you see, it comes off a little bit. And we're just going to unplug it just like that, guys. Real easy. Now we have our Enlin uh, 512 gigabytes. Again, like 40 something dollars at uh, Micro Center, pretty good deal. We're just gonna cover it again. This little like cooling uh, thermal pad is actually pretty nice. Yeah, so just be aware guys, the Enlin one, you see how tight this thing is? It is tight. So if this is the only SSD that you're able to buy, just know that it's okay. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to get this back on. So other uh, videos I've seen of different SSDs are actually much more easy to get it on. Or maybe they're just not showing the full thing, but you'll see, you know, a little crumply. Like, it was hard to get this on. Like, it, it took a couple tries. Just, uh, what I, on this side right here, I'd have to remove the sticker off the SSD or anything. Just make sure you just wiggle this and just make sure the black edges here are still flush and out. That way you can actually squeeze it in and you're just gonna have to wiggle it in. Smooth, you know, slow as smooth, smooth as fast, guys. There you go. And then from there, guys, we're just reversing our steps. We do it at a little angle, just like a motherboard. It's the same exact slot, right? You screw in the SSD, secure it. Again, you don't gotta get too crazy with it. Then we plug the battery back in. And the battery getting plugged in is very, very smooth to do. Very easy. And I'm gonna just be safe and use this little tool again. It's nice, it's easy. Make sure that's all secure. And then guys, we just reverse our steps, that's it. So we got all the four screws. Just remember the little ones obviously on the outside and that nice thick one's gonna be there. We're gonna put our sticker back on. And that back side is set. We're gonna put the cover back on and put those uh, eight screws back on guys, that's it. Hear that snap. Good to go. Still drives me crazy that uh, I bought that JSOF, whatever it's called, the protector, and I fucked up two of them. <laughs> Just be careful when you uh, put the screen protector on, guys. Maybe I should have spent the extra money with Steam to not do any of this manual labor just so I got a good screen protector. Next up, you're gonna grab your uh, flash drive and you're gonna go to this. You're gonna go to the link in the description and download Steam OS. And then you're also gonna download Rufus if you're on Windows. Steam recommends other programs if you're not on Windows. So once you guys uh, actually have Rufus, real quick, just go to select, you go to download Steam Recovery, show up there, and you're all good. You can start, and then just go through the warnings, yep, 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 and that's that. Uh, again, you're downloading Rufus because this is what Steam recommends if you're on Windows. Uh, it has gives you all the options if you're not on Windows. 
Yeah, so most people, you're gonna install your installation media, make sure you have a USB-C flash drive, just like a computer, guys, right? Now, I did my SSD first. Uh, I did the upgrade before ever even turning this on. So I never even had a first boot. Most people will say, I don't reset, though, uh, minus power for this. We're just gonna put power. And then you're gonna get the logo and you're gonna get a prompt. Uh, let's see. Go boot manager. And then we have it right here. It's hard to see with this reflection. Yeah, so from here, just gonna give it some time. Go get your coffee, go get water, whatever you do, tea, and let the baby boot up and start. All right, and we're in. Now we're just gonna re-image the Steam Deck. This is my first time, guys. I gotta get used to it, but yep. Yeah. Double click, and then you're set. Again, just wait a little bit. Steam Deck for a few days now. Uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm just gonna give you my quick uh, first impressions. Uh, talk about the physical dimensions real quick. It is not too heavy, but when you are holding it like this and you're gaming, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and even with my big ass monkey hands, you'll see. Um, it does get a little bit tiring. Uh, going into that, I'm gonna go right into the button scheme. Uh, I'm not, I wasn't too big of a fan with the buttons being so high up. I kind of like it in the middle. You know, when you talk about a controller, the joysticks are almost uh, centered and say they with the button scheme. This being all high up, it kind of like, you know, the weight's a little bit disproportionate when you are holding it. I feel like the button scheme would probably be better where the thumb pads are. I understand why they did it, you know, but that's just a personal preference. Uh, the buttons are fine. The triggers are really good. Um, they feel like they're responsive. Uh, I'm sure if I played the shooter, I would enjoy it. But the joysticks are effing terrible. They suck. The stock ones that you get out of the box are really, 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 really bad. And the touchpad is also... I, I know a lot of people said a lot of negative things about it, but I kind of got used to it pretty quickly. Where even these, like, again, I have, you know, fat-ass hands. This was fine. Just my two thumbs, like, typing uh, during the initial setup and, like, looking stuff up on the Steam store. Uh, buttons glossy, but, but again, the joysticks are terrible. You absolutely have to buy covers. Uh, I sweat a lot when I game, and it's just it's terrible, right? So I needed these really badly. Like the stock ones, I I was just uh, setting up the initial setup, and I was already getting like oily in there. I was like, yo, what the hell? Like, but you know, definitely invest in like eight dollar, ten dollar, uh, you know, these uh, joystick covers that really help. So again, you know, not a full fledged review, just uh, quick initial uh, thoughts. The performance, I'm not gonna get too into it, you know, it's based off of, uh, AMD's architecture and, you know, they're kind of like dominating the console space. I think they're in a PS5 or maybe even Xbox 2, I'm not sure, but, you know, it performs well. The way I look at it, it's like a mobile PC, like mini handheld that can, you know, play 1080p. I know it's not exactly 1080p resolution, but it really handles 1080p well, you know, it's a lowest resolution requirement at the time. And you're gonna be playing a lot of modern games, you know, close to, uh, at minimum 30 FPS, but like closer to the 60 FPS mark. It's very, very smooth. And for a handheld, it's the exact performance I would want. Obviously, like, you know, like, I know Switch has the OLED panel and like a lot of things like, but guys, you're, you're not gonna be able to play like <laughs> 4K in a handheld, you know, anytime uh, soon, at least I think. But, you know, performance is very, very good. I will say, uh, talking about performance, I'm gonna go right into uh, cooling and noise guys like initially depending on the game you play i played octopath traveler 2 i got in the seam seal i loaded that up and i had the default resolution the, the default settings they were all like high and then like the menu setting was 4k i legit felt like i was on a c15 about to drop into the fucking afghanistan this shit was like loud as hell but once i played with the settings and i lowered the menu settings and i think i lowered a little bit of the graphical um the noise got very very reasonable and then the heat uh, how hot this got was actually way way better it wasn't bad at all then i can actually sit and rest it on my lap and play and it was fine but just you know be aware that when you are playing this for the first time and you set this up depending on the game you play you're gonna have to play with the settings to get that nice like performance to noise ratio that you can handle but that, that's pretty much it guys you know the performance is good the feel of it is good uh the joysticks suck definitely invest in that the touch pads aren't too bad but i still got touch pad covers you may want to invest in that too triggers are good uh it's weighty, but again, it's not too weighty. 
and just uh, be aware of the noise and the heat, how hot this thing can get. But that's pretty much it, guys. You know, Mozo with Negron Tech. I hope you uh, got something out of this video. Uh, I really appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. You know, maybe you get an idea of this. And uh, one last thing, yeah, guys, it's worth it. You know, if you're into PC gaming and you wanna, you you like mobile gaming, like there's times where you just wanna chill and sit on the couch or lay in the bed. Like it's really really nice. Like me, I come home and I like to decompress after work. I get home from work like around 11 30 so i'm not gonna fall asleep you know at least for like an hour to get home and you know being able to lay down and just whip this out while resting my body it's a really 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 nice benefit to me personally so i'm not like back saying you know i said i work a good amount so i'm not back this back home in the city on my uh you know computer setup for a while but yeah guys give the steam deck a try you know and again buy the cheapest version and get an ssd on your own it's real simple uh mozo with negron tech have a good one